Hello, I'm Doug Badger, Weber grill enthusiast. I'm here with App today. We're gonna to show you a rotisserie al pastor recipe for some out of this world pork tacos. We're gonna do it on the Summit 670 rotisserie. Uh, so what we're gonna to do today, we have our dry rub pork here. We already got it all ready to go. I have two pineapples completely cored and ready. And then I'm gonna take this pineapple here. We're gonna cut just a little bottom slice off the bottom here. And we're gonna start building our rotisserie now. Okay guys, now that our pork is ready to go, we're gonna get the Summit 670 lit and ready for the pork to go on the rotisserie. Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is I have the propane tank, I just turned it on, I'm allowing the tank to pressurize, all the hoses are filling with gas. We have our lid open, which is very important, and the Summit has a snap jet ignition system on it. So all I have to do to light the grill is simply turn the knob to light, and that lights the, that lights the burner. So once I turn it here, that lights. Uh, so since we're doing indirect with the food just in the center of the grill, I'm actually only going to have the outside burners on. So I'm going to turn this one back off. We're going to light our outside burner on this side as well. And then since we're going to be using our smoker burner, we're also going to turn our smoker burner on. So we're going to get that nice and hot. And while the grill's coming up the temperature, we're going to take advantage of the fact that we have everything on high and the grill's getting nice and warm for us. And we're going to add our soaked hickory wood chips to the smoker burner as well. So we just put those in just like that. And that'll add some nice smoked flavor to our pork as well. So now that we got the burners lit, we're gonna close the lid, let this come up to about 375 degrees, and then we'll get the pork on. Now that we have our rotisserie all built and ready to go with our pork chops and our pineapple, our grill is holding steady at around 375 degrees, and our wood chips are starting to smoke. So it's time to get the rotisserie on the grill. All we have to do now, flip the switch and be patient. All right, so our Al Pastor is done, so we're gonna take it off. And look at that, that is gorgeous. When you get that perfect color on it like that from the infrared rotisserie burner, that's what gets that nice char caramelized look around the outside. So we have our tortillas all ready to go. We have our cilantro, we have our fresh chopped onion. It's time to make tacos. So the way to do this, kind of want to leave it on the rotisserie because you really don't want it to fall apart. So we're pretty much going to shave it. Almost like the guys when you get a gyro down at the hot dog stand, same idea. So I'm going to chop this right off of there. So look at that beautiful color on the inside. We have nice juicy pork chops and a beautifully caramelized pineapple. I'm gonna have some happy taco eaters in a minute. So we're gonna start off with that. I have a nice amount I can get going with here. And I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit. And get a little finely chopped. And I can lose my barbecue gloves. So we get a little pork here and some pineapple. A little cilantro and onion. You have a beautiful taco right there. Nice juicy pork cooked low and slow on the summit. 